Welcome back. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can shut down computers connected to a domain using a GPO. On your Windows computer, if you go to C Windows System32 folder, there is a file called shutdown.exe. It is an executable file and if you double click on it, nothing will happen. The reason for that is, it is a file that has certain parameters that it requires in order for it to execute with what it needs to do. In other words, shutdown.exe is a command line utility in Windows that allows users to perform various power operations including shutting down, restarting, hibernating, logging off uh, of the local or remote computers. It is located in the system32 folder and it can be accessed using the command prompt, PowerShell or even the run dialog. The parameters that goes into this executable file can be found on the Microsoft website and I will leave a link in the description of this video. And those parameters are listed right here on their site. Now we can use these parameters with our GPO to execute that file on our domain connected computers as a task and then remotely shut down those devices. So today I'm going to use this file from the system32 the shutdown.exe using that file we're going to create a GPO to be executed at a specific time so the computers will shut down at a specific time when the GPO is applied every day or every week etc etc. So let's go to our Windows Server. So I have Windows Server 2022 here. I'm going to open the Server Manager. I'm going to Tools, Open Group Policy Management, this one. And in here, I'm going to navigate to my sanuja.local domain and I'm going to select an area or an OU where we will create this GPO. So I'm going to create the GPO under net it geeks OU, but you can select whatever the, the OU you would like to apply this. I'm going to right click, create a GPO in this domain and link it here. And I'm going to name this as auto shutdown and click OK. So you can name it whatever you like. So this is simply a GPO. And I'm going to right click on that GPO, click edit and it will open the group policy management editor. And in here, under computer configuration, I'm going to expand preferences. And then I'm going to expand control panel settings and I'm going to select schedule task. And in here, we're going to right click and select new and it is important that you select schedule task at least Windows 7. So we're going to select schedule task at least Windows 7 under schedule task new and we're going to select this one and it will open the new task dialog box. And in here, make sure the action is set to update right here. And you can name what this task is. So this is the name that will appear on all the domain connected devices that this policy will be applied to. So I'm going to call this uh, auto shutdown, but you can call it whatever you like. You can put a description if you like. For example, this task will shut auto shutdown uh, per GP GPO for group policy, okay? And then when running this task, what user account should be applied? So we can select what security options using this, where this uh, will be applied. So if you click on change user or group, and in here, we can apply uh, to whatever the user you like. For example, if I go SYS, and go check names, it shows system, but let's go Sanuja 
and check name and here you go so it shows that user so i can apply to a specific user or if you click on advanced there are a few other options where you can change certain things and we can add filters for example and you can select the groups and locations right here for example you can you can click on the locations right here and let's say i want to apply to all the computers click ok and you know that will apply there uh, so you you do have like you know you can you can select the locations and you know there's some first certain options you can add but for now i'm going to apply this to the user sanuja sena naika san001 uh, uh, at sanuja.local domain and click ok the next thing i need to do is to make sure that this task is run with the highest privileges so i'm going to select this and click that one so make sure it is runs with the highest privileges and then from general tab i'm going to switch to the triggers tab and in here we're going to select new because there's, there's currently nothing in here and we're going to select here uh, on schedule as a task began and we're going to select uh, when this task will be run so we're going to select uh, for daily so it's going to run once every day and you can select the ta uh, start time so i'll just put 10 for example uh, pm so let's say when everybody uh, went home for sure it'll it'll trigger this task and uh, we can also do synchronize across all time zones if you have company uh, people across the country you can select that option and once this is set up we're gonna uh, now click ok uh, there's other options in here as well so if you want to change things like for example if you want to change uh, you know when it will be expired there's few you know how long you if you want to make it delayed task etc so you can look into that as well there's some options on the new triggers so once i click ok uh, the next thing we need to do we need to select an action uh, that uh, this task will perform so we're going to click on action tab and we're going to select new and currently there's no tab actions uh, listed and in here the action we need is the starter program and the program we are going to start start and the program that which we are going to start is the one from here remember on our win old windows machine under c windows system 32 right here we have this shutdown.exe and that's what we want to run that's the program we want to run right so it's c windows system 32 slash shutdown.exe so that's the program you can actually browse like if you want to go and find it you can do that as well uh, so if you don't want to type this whole thing you can go browse and you can simply go to c uh, windows the, uh, you know windows system 32 and if you go shut down and it will give you the same one see windows system that is shut down but remember this is not going to run from this server c windows system 32 it's going to run from your client device in this case windows 11 machine once this gpo is pushed and remember that it needs arguments right so for the arguments i'm going to do uh, we're going to do uh, dash s that means shutdown space dash t that means time so i'm gonna give it 500 uh, seconds and dash f mean basically it forces the application to close without any warning to the user and if you want to know what these arguments are i will again leave a link in the description from the microsoft website uh, that will explain what they are uh, as I mentioned before, it is already listed uh, right here. You can look at the argument and you can do a few other things with this particular uh, options. So in here, under the new task, under the action tab, I have selected the program I want to start and I enter the argument dash S space dash T space 500 space dash F and I'm going to click OK. Uh, OK. 
and that will apply everything so if, we, if i click on this uh and uh, you can see you can disable it and you can rename it there's few properties you can look at the properties and that's where we all see all these changes everything right here so now this task is already there so what's going to happen now is whenever a device boots in and log on to your domain and gpos get updated uh, this auto shutdown gpo will be pushed to those devices and based on the configuration we did in the task, it will be added to the task scheduler of that particular local computer, and then it will run accordingly. If you go back to the uh, your Windows 11 machine, close all of this, if I go task scheduler, and if I look at my task, it doesn't show up right here. So, to get that it showed up, uh, what you need to do is uh, you can go uh, command prompt, open command prompt, type gp update slash force, or the other option you can do is to reboot your computer or get people to log out and log back in. So it says group policy has been successfully updated. And if you uh, move this one, and then you go task scheduler. If you go to task scheduler library, now you can see the GPO pushing the auto shutdown and it will happen every day at 10 p.m. And if I double click on it, if I open it, it'll see what configurations are there. And it, I remember I wrote, this task will auto shut down per GPO and it shows up here and it, it will run and when it's logged in with the highest privileges and it tells you what it is and all the options here so it basically this all these options right here is being pushed by the gpo that we created right here so the, if you go to this gpo and uh, if i go to task and then if i um look at these properties these properties on this gpo is exactly the same as what got pushed right here shown on the client devices and now if i actually run this there you go you are about to be signed out windows will shut down in eight minutes shutdown will start at 10 or 2 a.m so it will tell you when you know it will give you an eight minute window before it's shut down but it'll give you a warning and that's how basically you know the uh, task scheduler based shutdowns uh, can be pushed using a gpo so this is a very good option if your company needs to shut down all your domain connected computers windows computers at the end of the day or at the end of the week without even user intervention it still can run it uh, using this type of uh, uh, auto shutdown GPO push. If you have any questions or concerns regarding this particular topic, please reach out to me. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. And for all the other Windows and CCNA and other IT related inquiries, you are more than welcome to reach out to me through either leaving a comment or by watching the videos from my previous tutorials and commenting on those items and i will try to get back to all of you as soon as possible until next time thank you so much and have a nice